To the Empire and to the world, our greetings. It has been a tumultuous two years since our last Christmas broadcast, both in Austinasia and around the world. Even now, in some places, the effects of these past two years are currently being felt. Families and friends who have traditionally come together to celebrate the birth of our Saviour are sacrificing that fellowship for the health and safety of others. Although we must bear these troubles in mind, let us not forget the joy of the coming of Christ. That tremendous event of his birth embodies hope, the anticipation of better days ahead. Better days that will see not only a return to our families and friends embracing each other, but a realisation that we cannot take such meetings for granted. For those who are able to celebrate with others today, may you enjoy the company you have, give thanks for the blessings brought before you, and keep hope in your life. For those who are isolated or lonely today, unable to celebrate as you might wish, we assure you of your presence in our prayers, and assure you that hope can be kept for better days for you as well. Many of us, over these past two years, have had, li have had little other than hope. Hope that things will improve, hope that our situations will return to normal. As time goes on, we see these hopes gradually nearing or reaching fruition. As we enter into the coming year, let us have hope that as time goes by, things will get better, and these troubled times can be left in the past. In the words of St Paul, May the God of hope fill you with all joy and peace in believing, so that by the power of the Holy Spirit you may abound in hope. To all subjects, residents and friends of Austinasia, and to all people around the world, we wish you a very Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year.